Hello everyone, and welcome to Seasonal Watch episode 15. Last episode, we had the end of the arc, really. We had the last fight of that, that the squad strike, as I called it, which was weird because sometimes was team versus one, and sometimes was one versus one. Like, it was a bit weird how that went, but it's over. It is the end of Metropolitan, of Kanade, if you will. And why do I decide to finally remember his name when he's no longer in the story? Uh, but he wasn't the only one that's gone. Hokkaido finally gave in to the, his sickness. And but it even took him away. And she did give the the wings and the red arrow to Saki. Which... I guess yeah, I guess she did affect him with the red arrow, so it makes sense it would go to her. Speaking of which, Hanade was affected by a red arrow, which is why he was so confident that um, Mirai's red arrow, even if it hit, he wouldn't do anything. So, there's still two questions. One, who was the Mirai, not Mirai, Metropolitan or Kanade, like, trusted so much that he would let himself be affected by the red arrow, if he even let himself? And two, uh, whoever this person is, now has a bunch of wings, a bunch of red arrows, and a white arrow. So I wonder if it's the other person that has a white arrow that we haven't met yet, or if it's another person. So now there's still three people with white arrow. White arrow. I'm not sure we'll figure that out this episode, but we, what we might see this episode is more of that kid with the blonde mohawk hair kind of style. Oh, it's not quite a mohawk because kind of falling to the side, but that kid. Hokkaido did point out that that person was a candidate during the the stadium scene. And they were gonna look into that, but then the murderous girl got out of prison thanks to Metropolitan. So they had to focus on that. And now the kid showed up again as one of Metropolitan's subordinates, but then ran away. In fact, he had a whole plan of streaming that for who knows how far. We saw like the city could see it, but I don't know if it was like the country could see it, the state could see it. Who knows? But that kid had a plan this whole time. I wonder how far the plan's going or if that's how far the plan goes. So yeah, I think we might see more of that kid this episode. Also, Okado's family, are we gonna see? I still see some of them this episode because they kinda know about this whole candid situation, even if they can't see it. Or are they just gonna be gone? We're just gonna leave them away from this so they don't get it more involved. Who knows? Oh, well, guess we'll find out today. And as a reminder, this is a timer reaction. Which means you sync up your own version with mine and we'll watch it together. I'll try to add some scenes here and there, but don't expect too much. So, with that being said, let's get started. 3, 2, 1, go! The following program is intended for a mature audience, as they show a disembodied head. Yeah, I can see a why. But yeah, the military found out the location they went there, though they only saw the remains of Kanade. Yeah, they still don't know it's Kanade. But they did hear about God Candidates. So, are we sticking to the same opening? It seems like it so far. And... episode 15 and we're still in the same opening maybe we are gonna say it's the same opening the whole season 
And I believe I heard that this the end of the season is also the end of the show. Like there won't be more. They will actually reach the end of the manga. Oh wait. Hold up. We're getting new visuals. I was not paying attention at all until I saw the kid. Okay, so we have new vis some new visuals of more candidates. There's a scientist. Uh, hold up, the two from the the two officers that we just saw. They have wings now, and we still have that blonde person there. Then maybe that person's the other one that has a white arrow, or that hit uh, kind of the red arrow and does now has a white arrow. But okay, so we basically have the same opening, just showing different candidates now. And I wonder if those officers are just gonna have wings, or maybe a red arrow, or are they actually gonna be candidates? Because it didn't seem like they were acting like they knew about this stuff. So it seems like the former theory. And we're still in the sadness of the res resolution. It's a complicated topic because. Oh, yeah, for sure. If somebody understands him, it's gotta be her. But, like, yeah, they killed a person, but if they didn't, that person would have killed thousands of people, and he admitted that. But, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. But it's complicated because it's still doing the same thing, just not in the, the same scale, I guess. Yeah, she has the red arrow, so. Kind of hard to see which is the real her and which is the red arrow speaking. Oh, okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. Yeah. He can't tell if what she's really thinking. Yeah, but that's also because of Red Arrow that you have now. So it's kind of hard to say. Yeah, he has me on the other side. I mean, that part is true, but... だけは言わせて。私は向井道さんに赤の餌されてないけど、向井道さんが好きだった。向井道さんのしたこと、家族を。Different kind of like, but yeah. Like for sure they like he was a close friend to them. She just taking notes like using a white arrow. Oh, I f actually, I don't think he used it. What? No, he did use it on the virus. And like, fighting to, to de de death, allowing and kind of to kill, agreeing with it. Okay, so he's, he's talking about the red arrow that affected Kanade. And about where those flew. Yeah, that's how the rules work. ルベルたち、僕らが組んでるって発想はなかったようだね。ペネマとは妙に気が合ってさ、僕の勘だと生前は親友か兄弟か。いや、恋人だったかもね。わ、先生とか言うんだ、先生。Yeah, okay, so
こんなにいっぱいやと翼がもらえてびっくりした。特にこの白のやって。いや、いや、でけ。Yeah, Bob's still playing this. Like, he was playing this whole thing himself there. Bob's is very unique character in, in this whole situation. So. Panama is the name of the angel of the, of the kid. And the kid is rich, by the way. Uh, is, is it? Maybe it's another scene, like the, the time that he got. He wished for the. Why is it focusing on her? Oh, he's remembering his sister. And that's when he got hit. So the kids from the same school. He can't see what's going on. His friends are like, uh, what's going on? Who's that kid? And when did kind of they act like this? It really is a secret base fight. Look at all those bikes. Okay, for a second there, I thought that was like a mecha. I was like, wait, what? And it's like the exoskeleton and everything. The spine. Yeah, I was, I was thinking like... Yeah, I'll, so... Yeah, I was thinking like that. That explains the whole situation why he was acting like that. Why he wasn't running away and everything. And also... And also what I was saying, like, the kid seems to be in a wealthy place. To be fair, he goes to that wealthy school. But I wonder if he's in Canada's place. Though it would be dangerous since the police found the body, so they probably identify it and look at his house. <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna be tough. Thirty three days. It's kind of hard to tell. How much of this is her and how much of this is the arrow? Three sets? I'm gonna look at the image later. But how does she have three? Oh, Hajime. Yeah. So the kid has a white arrow, and we don't know who has the other red, white arrow. Actually, we've seen the name of the angel. We've seen the name of the angel that has a white arrow. I wonder if I still have it saved somewhere. Because we know the kid's angel is Panama.
this is something. Oh, there we go. That's so handsome. At least they don't seem as hurt as they were last night. They still have some bandages here and there, but not as much. Hmm. Okay, I was wondering, like, didn't he stay at her house the whole time? After he lost the foster family, lost him actually feeling the taste after being tasteless for so long reminds me of no for me. Okay, hold up, what? Okay, there are some strange angels there. So and they're having their meeting, the remaining ones. So is that one in leading the meeting, Panama? Because the other ones, other than us, that seem to be male. Forget I said anything. Angel of Games. I guess Panama is a male angel. His voice sounds familiar, but I can't quite figure out. Yes, Ellie. Self-proclaimed. What? How does that work? Oh, I see. So he has a little bit of a double meaning here. Because he has Because they're talking about her. Yeah. Yeah, she just wants to live a life of luxury. <laughs> Let's stop making insupposed, please. <laughs> really? I still disagree with him. Like, they don't need to. Actively seek out to kill other people to become God. Of course, the God of Games considers this a game. Leave things to him? What? What do they mean by leave things to him? What is he doing? Is that he? Right? I, I, I don't know. I think it's a he, but I get a hundred percent it's a he. He doesn't even remember anymore because apparently she remembered when he was a little kid more than him. He made a mark on her, I guess. Yeah, it takes time to heal. <laughs> I mean, considering she ate them all when they were a kid, it makes sense. What is, what is that kid doing? God Candid appears live. 
We can take the. What is? Okay, so it is a boy. Confirmed. And he recognized the photo. But what is he doing? Ah, Mirai is putting the pieces together. I mean, there's still one other white arrow somewhere. He has a bunch of white, uh, of red arrows and wings. Okay, so what's your plan there? Are you the one with the white arrow? Okay, now he's sounding more like a candidate. So there are only six left. The kid, Mirai, Saki, the girl in the resort, and two others. One of which probably has a white arrow. I'm guessing it's the woman that was the candid with partner up with the female angel leading the conver the reunion. And the other one's just quiet with weird face, kind of like a mask. Like, even talk about Panama? You didn't care about life. Why? Why were you chosen? What? Mm -hmm. Don't, okay, I was about to say, don't tell me the, the age just appeared there. Really, Panama? You thought he was gonna kill himself? That's why you showed up? Oh my god. Really? Is Panama really a first rank? But why is he revealing that to the media? Yeah, Metropolitan was a problem for everyone. They don't want to get you. Gets in your way. Four, five. Oh, yeah, he's revealing everything.
Oh, okay. I was trying to think like four plus Metropolitan Man plus Hajime. That's six. There's still one left. And then Mokaido. There we go. That's the seven that died. What are you saying? Are you thinking? Are you saying you like the fight? I, I'm st I still don't know why he's revealing all this to the media. I mean, I mean, if in a way, kind of is putting a target in all of them, but also he's. But in a way, he's also make them selectable as gods. And we have a new ending. And of course, this one's going to be completely new. Because the other one focuses on, on Kanade. The music is much super. At least for now. I don't know if it's going to pick up. It still has Kanade. It was just, oh no, it has Mukaido and his family. Oh... There's the girl living in luxury, which I don't know her name, but who is that? Oh, okay, the one running was that the kid? I don't know who that big tall guy is. And then there's a woman with him. Oh wait, was that Mirai and Saki? I couldn't tell. There's a spiky hair person. Which is like a crazy scientist, I guess. I don't know. And I was expecting one more candidate to show up. And all the angels, all of them appearing. Until just Nasa is left. Is that indicating that Mirai is going to be Okay, I see, and we're back. So, the title and the image showing of next episode, World Greatest Assassin, and showing like a guy with crazy eyes, or just red eyes or something. Not red, just light eyes. With wings and an arrow. So, is that person being used with a red arrow to chase other people, or is he one of the other candidates? Now, I am looking up the image I had from us from the first half of the season of the angels being listed. I am gonna have to look at the new one actually. So, Mooney is the name of the other first, uh, special rank angel. I don't know who Mooney is. I don't know if it's the guy with the weird face, the angel with the weird face, or is that woman leading the group. Um, as first ranker, there is. Panama, um, Balta's gone, Barret's gone, Egura, Imaka's gone. Uh, Ogaru, we don't know if it's a first or second rank. As for the remaining one, Ravel is Saki, which is now a first rank, and Yazeli. So, Yazeli, Ogaru, Panama, Mooney. That's a four. So we have a second rank, a, a special rank, a first rank, and one we don't know. Okay. Um, actually, isn't that that person with, with the girl with the luxury? Um, he was a self-claimed second rank. I don't know how that works. 
Oh, maybe that overall? And he's flaming his second, but nobody knows if it's first or second. I'll just have to look at that to know why. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna pop around. So, the kid is revealing everything to the media because wants them to, to the people to decide who's gonna be the next god out of the left, leftover candidates. Since we don't know about the other candidates yet, their intentions and everything, Yazeli, yeah, okay. So, the Angel of Truth. Okay, so the Angel of Truth, Yazeli, yeah, second rank. So, he is a second ranger. I don't know why it's self proclaimed, but okay, so we do know Panama and Yazeli yeah, and their partners. We don't know about Ogro and Mooney. I'm guessing Mooney is the woman leading and Ogro is the one with the weird face, kind of like a mask. But we don't know about their partner. I'm guessing that one with the weird face has the spiked hair guy that looks like a mad scientist. That's partner. That's for Mooney's partner. Is it the police guy? Because there wasn't an the opening hit. Him and his partner have with wings. In that moment, he was like, instant, like, okay, he's making a move about God Pandit. So, is it because they already revealed the information with the streaming of Metropolitan versus Red? Or is it because he knows about that stuff? Even when they were like tracking to look for the remaining candidates, he was paying attention to that. So maybe he is the other candidate. Oh, and how Panama chose the kids just face palm. He thought the kid was trying to kill himself, but he was just, I'll just organize the sleeping pills for my parents because they're a bit nasty. I'm just being nice. I'm a little lonely, but I can handle it. And then Panama. How are you first rank? <sighs> but, here we go. So now everyone's gonna be looking for the candidates. Wonder how that's gonna go. And we still don't know the personality and the opinion of the other two candidates, so... How are they gonna feel about this and how are they gonna interact with the other candidates, knowing them? The kid is a bit crazy. With his whole intention of revealing everything to the media, but I can kind of see what he was trying to do. Um, what else is that? Like, it took a bit, but Mirai was finally warming up, like, finally starting to feel better. Saki was cheering him on, like, there for him. Um,. What else? Like, we got an explanation for Metro Coleman's weird acting in that last event. Because now we know that the kid shot him with a red arrow. Um, a, a bit before that happened. And also that it was not intentional. He, he, he didn't let himself be hit by red arrow to fight me. He was actually shot by surprise. It just happened to work for him. But yeah, now the kid that says he doesn't want to be God and wants Red to be God, um, he has a bunch of wings and and arrows. Which reminds me that there was one scene that one kept in, back into Mirai and Nase. They have one red, one white, one wing. Saki has three red, three wings. Ogre has. Okay, they. Oh, because they don't know Ogro's rank. They don't know if he has red, white, or wings. And or. Um, Yasli has red or wings. Panama has red and wings. And Mooney has red, white arrow, and wings. But there is also four wings, four reds, and one white from Metropolitan that is with the kid with Panama. So he actually has one white, five reds, and 
five wings. It's gonna be so confusing to think about this. Like, I'll see if I can edit this in, but yeah. Um, I think that's all, right? Yeah. I think that's all for the episode, so we'll see how that stuff with the media is gonna be next episode. And how screwed up did the kid do, or how smart did the kid act? I'm more on the side of, like, he's a bit crazy revealing all that. Though I understand why he would do that. I do not agree with his plan. Though it is making so they choose a candidate. Since Yasuli was wanting somebody that wants to kill all the other candidates still. Which is crazy. But there we go. So with that being said, see you next time. Bye!